हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक अगेन इन द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ पावर लर्निंग चैनल सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू डीप सी सिक्स वन वन जीरो ऑटो स्टार्ट रिमोट कंट्रोलर ओके इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू प्रोग्राम इट मैनुअली विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ लैपटॉप यू डोंट नीड अ लैपटॉप टू प्रोग्राम दिस कंट्रोलर यू कैन ऑल्सो डू द प्रोग्रामिंग फ्रॉम द फ्रंट पैनल ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल मैनुअली so there is no requirement of the laptop the so in this video we will show you also the wiring as you see now on the screen i am showing you the wiring of the controller also so many videos on my channel you will see you will find about related to the wiring of this controller and i already discussed the wiring with the diagram and now you are seeing physically how the windings are done the wirings are done so wiring is here is very easy and very simple if you can just have a look carefully so you can see all the wirings with the numbering and the labeling the labels are showing very clearly each and everything in this video which is related to generator control panel the fuses the breakers the relays all are i am making very slow video so you can see how the control panels look like in the generator control panel and how the numberings are done in the factory so you can easily troubleshoot any of your control panel of generator panel so this generator panel is installed on cummins generator and we have here as you see fuel relay start relay generator contact relay alarm relay and also we have a battery charger some terminals so all these are after installing all these uh, accessories we will make a control panel of generator so in this video i will show you how to program the deep sea controller via manually so let's get started so guys before going before starting the video i have a small request to all of you kindly like share and subscribe this channel so you will learn a lot a uh, new things with this with the help of this video so so guys now i will show you how to enter in the module so we have to press the enter key button this enter key is the uh, okay button okay in the center of the navigation keys you have to press this and the stop button simultaneously so now i am pressing these two button together so you will see i will enter in the editor module so now you see i press these two button together so now i am enter in the editor module so here we have the first setting is editor about the module so the contrast setting is 50% you will increase it more for lower and higher resolution and after that here we have in the editor engine section here we have current crank disconnect oil pressure is inactive oil pressure check prior to starting active okay crank disconnect frequency is 22 hertz okay so in this way we will show you all the settings oil pressure low shutdown is 1.40 bars we set oil pressure pre alarm is 1.41 bars okay the coolant temperature pre alarm is 102 degrees and the coolant temperature shutdown is 105 degrees centigrade pre heat temperature is 50 degrees centigrade pre heat timer we set to 0 post heat temperature 50 degree centigrade and post heat timer is 000 battery under voltage is active alarm is active in case of under voltage of battery it will give you alarm so this is 24 volt generator so we set 23 return and battery under voltage warning delay it's 1 minute 0 seconds battery over voltage warning is active okay we have both protection over and under protection for the battery voltages so here we have 28 volt return and battery over voltage warning is 30 volt and what is the shutdown value and battery over voltage okay charge alternator failure warning is 16 volt okay charge alternator warning delays okay so here we have all these parameters you can select always as per your engine requirement this is just an example to show you that what is the settings of my engine but whenever you are doing the settings you have to select as per your engine sizing and as per your operation of the site it is not fixed values in all generators are same all generators having as per their data sheet you have to select the 
settings of your generator as per your requirement as per your load so this is just an example you will consider as an example because my requirement is these so i set my requirement uh, uh, mod this module as per my requirements so once you have your you are setting your controller so you have to select the values as per your site conditions as per your operation maybe your voltage is different than my voltage maybe my temperature ambient temperature is different than your ambient temperature so all these keep in mind this is just an example please 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 always consider your settings as per your site requirements so just to making this video to show you how to enter in the module what are the settings are available and how we will select the uh settings of our controller because we are using here 60 hertz maybe you are using 50 hertz in your country so this all settings are always to be set as per your requirement as per your country requirement because all countries have different frequency level different voltage level different oil pressure readings okay different temperatures so you have to select your readings as per your requirement okay guys now you see we here we have our ct rating is 400 amp ct primary and the full load rating is 338 38 amps okay so delayed over current active okay this is immediate over current also active delayed over current 100 percent okay and full load kilowatt rating is 100 kilowatt generator okay kilowatt overload alarm kilowatt overload alarm action and kilowatt overload alarm trip so all these settings i'm showing you you will select as per your requirements okay so now i will enter in the timers we will see in timers we have start delay of load five settings uh, five seconds sorry and after that the next timer we have uh, in this one so you will select as per your maybe i need five second delay for offload and on load okay so now you see here start delay telemetry is five settings some of the settings are standard but some of the settings you have to increase as per your requirement i am again repeating that you always set your settings as per your requirement don't follow the standard one because this is only for 180 kilowatt maybe you are using this controller on bigger generator or smaller generator so you have to take care of this safety on delay here 0 minute 10 seconds warming transfer time 0 0.7 settings okay 7 seconds breaker close pulse is 0 0.5 set uh, seconds and breaker trip pulse is 0 0.5 seconds return delay is 30 seconds cooling is 1 minute we set one minute cooling cooling at idle zero hours zero minutes and zero settings okay uh, ets fail to stop delay is zero minutes and 30 seconds so these all are the timers in we are now in the timer section so all timers are showing us which is related to our engine starting stopping and related to the safeties after that we are here we have editor maintenance alarm this is new function deep sea added here editor outputs digital output c source is 23 code okay you can also check via connecting with the controller program deep sea configuration already i put video on my channel for the full programming you can see and easily learn how to program the deep sea controller via laptop always this is only in case if you need to change some of these settings if you are at the site in an emergency so you can use this option but we but we always prefer to use the laptop with the controller so with the laptop uh, with the controller software okay you can have more access to the more uh, functions to clear to let them see very clearly in the computer in your laptop you can uh, download this software free from deep sea website uh, deep sea pc suite okay in your pc and then after you will connect very easily via uh, via usb cable and you can use easily you can watch my channel more videos related to this okay so i hope you will learn something new from this okay 
so now you see here i come back again also you will change the language you will change the current date and fast loading is active okay so all these all these all these settings you always check as per your manufacturer and your generator because maybe you are using perkins generator maybe you are using cummins generator or you are using different brands of engine so it will help this video will help you only to see how what are the parameters are available what parameters you need to change and what are the standard parameters i have more more videos on generator you just explore my channel now and you can just browse my channel power learning okay so you can see so guys now i will start the engine and i will show you how to run the engine okay because we are coming out from the parameter setting so we i will press now the start button okay the manual mode button and the start button so now you see the engine get started okay now the engine is started as you see we our rated voltage is 380 volts okay now generator is working on 382 volts okay and 59.9 hertz almost 60 hertz so this is the way of the programming this controller from the front panel you can also program it via deep sea configuration suit okay so now you see the engine parameters is showing 1800 rpm okay the engine is, sta is stable 1800 rpm okay so friends don't forget to like share and power learning channel if you have any questions please write down in the comment section i will try my best to give you all the answers if you have any query related to the generators problem you can write me in the comment section and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel power learning channel thanks for watch, uh, watching and if you subscribe my channel